Welcome back to the course. Now that we have made all the edit needed on the bones and controllers. Rig UI, bone layer and bones alignment. In this we will do the weight paint, which is basically to parent the mesh to the rig and define which bone control which part of the mesh. As I mentioned in previous part, these green bones are the only deformed bones, and we will add weight based on these bones. start with base mesh. So let's hide these collections. Hide these extra controller from the rig. Especially the twist bone. Just keep the deaf bones and the main controller. select all these extra bones we added. We will turn off the deform option for them. Cause they aren't going to deform the base mesh. And we don't want to create unnecessary vertex groups. Once selected, go to this bone option. Seem like the deform option is unchecked already. I think these are not the deformed bones. Go to bone collection. It was ORG bones. Turn on the deaf bone collection. Go to bone panel again. You can see the deform option is checked. Select all the extra bones. Once selected these bones, uncheck this deform option but it is not applied to all these selected bones. So right click on this checkbox then copy to select it. That should uncheck the deform for all selected bones. We can hide these bones now. We can hide these extra controller. I 
I think we forgot this one. Let's uncheck this deform option. And hide this as well. Now let's parent this base mesh. Select the base mesh then shift select the rig. Press Ctrl plus P to parent. You can see all these options to parent. Select this automatic weight paint. It will automatically assign weight to the mesh. Based on the deformed bones. Hide these meshes. Select the mesh then go to modifier. Move this armature modifier above the subdivision. If you have mirror modifier, keep it below that. Go to this object date properties. You can see the vertex groups here. If you look at their naming, it's the deaf bones. Each of these group or the bone define which part of the mesh to deform. If you move this IK controller, the mesh move as well. And while it looks good, it is not, we have to fix the weight. While automatic weight paint assign the weight, it is not perfect or good for the main character. Maybe good for the background character. That doesn't have a close-up shot. Anyway, for the weight paint, switch to FK controller. Select the IK controller, then in end panel. Set this IK, FK to 1. That's basically a switch for IK and FK. Turn on these FK button on the UI. We will use these controllers to check the weight and fixed where necessary. Zoom into this joint and you can see how bad this looking. Switch to FK for these legs as well. Turn on the FK layers. Hide these IK layers. This looks good, at least that's how it looks. But doesn't mean the weight are added properly. And that's what we have to fix. Before we start the weight painting, I just want to mention that the weight painting is very much practical. Not much to explain. So I'm going to explain the tools that we use the most for this while showing it how to do on this base mesh. But it's very repetitive process. So we will have more time lapse for this. Press Ctrl plus tab then go to weight paint. Or you can switch from this drop down menu. On the right side, we have few tools. We don't have to use all these tools. We will use these two brushes the most. You can go through these vertex groups. We can see the weight on the mesh based on the vertex group we select. All these groups link to the deaf bone. Select this spine point 006 which is the head bone. If you look at to this color, the red means full influence. Orange and green shade has less influence. Like the red has a full influence of 1. Orange may have 0.9 or 0.8. And the green have even less influence. While this blue has zero influence. But there is also transition between the green and blue which does have influence but it's very small like 0 
and we need a transition between the joints. Sometime this blue shade can have some influence. Click on this menu here. Switch the zero weight to active. Now you can see black shade where is zero influence of this vertex group. As we can see, we do have some part with blue shade, which would blend without this option. So better to keep it on active. While switching to weight paint, keep your armature in pose mode so we can select the bone and see its influence on the mesh. To select the bone in weight paint mode, hold Alt and click the bone you want. You can see its influence accordingly, which you can do from vertex group as well. The automatic weight paint sure gives us base weight but this is not perfect. Like this neck bone shouldn't influence the face part. So we have to remove this extra weight. Take this brush. From this brush setting, we can change the brush type. You can change the brush size with F. Turn on this symmetry option. You can start painting the weight. Just like the texture paint. Currently, we have the blending mode set to mix. Which basically add weight. We can see similar option as the texture paint. And weight painting is the same. But for this, vertices matter. As you can see how the paint snap to the vertex. For this head, give full weight on top. And on the joint part, make average weight. Between two bones. Take this blur brush. Then just blur these part for a smooth transition. If you want to remove the weight, you can change the blending mode. Select Subtract. Then you can simply remove the weight you don't need. Alt-click this neck bone. We have to remove this unwanted weight. So while the blending mode is in Subtract, Remove the weight from the face. You want to keep the weight only to the part where these bones should be affecting. For the head bone, keep the weight only on the head part. Similarly for the neck bone. And the joint area should have weight from both sides. Other than that, there is nothing much to explain. Weight paint is very more practical and a repetitive work. Throughout this process, we will use the main brush and the blur brush only. And from blending mode, we only need to use mix and the subtract to add and remove the weight. controller to pose and check the weight, which we will be doing a lot, to keep checking the weight, and add or remove the weight as needed. For now let's attach these meshes as well. We can apply the mirror modifier.
Let's combine all these extra meshes. Ctrl plus J to combine. While it's selected, shift select the armature. Press Ctrl plus P then select with empty group. Move this armature modifier on top. Right now, it's just an empty group. There is no weight. Select this bone, which is spine point 006. Find the vertex group with same name. Go to edit mode, select all vertices. Assign the weight to this vertex group. For this we need full weight. So we are keeping the weight one. And this is also the way to add and remove the weight. If we go to weight paint, it added full weight. If you wish to reduce the weight, you can. Make sure to assign to see the weight change. Though, I'm fine with full weight for this one. We can see, it's moving with head now. This joint area needs some work. So we can smooth out the weight with blur brush. As I mentioned, in this kind of area. Where two bones are joining. We try to have weight from both bones. Like 50% weight from one bone and 50% from other. So the vertices deform smoothly. When using this brush, make sure to check the blending mode. I use mouse for weight paint. So not sure about pen pressure for this but we can play with brush strength for smooth transition that you can access from this or simply right click to access the brush weight, radius and strength. You can also use Befs for brush radius and Shift plus F for brush strength. I use right click option the most for this because it's really easy for me also, if you want to remove the weight, but not completely like subtract does, you can use the mix blending and decrease the weight or strength. Let's see that as well. Right click and decrease the weight to zero and start painting the weight. So it will add weight of zero to the existing weight. Basically acting as an eraser. Now if you switch to subtract, you have to increase the weight to remove the weight completely. I think that's pretty much everything need to be explained. Rest is more a practical work. So it's depend on how much time you spend to refine this. Go through each deaf bone. Use controller bone to pose to check the deformation. Then add or remove the weight as needed. I think we can end this part here. In the next one, we will have a time lapse for weight painting the base mesh. After that we will see how easily we can rig the costume. See you in the next one.